Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making queso blanco. Today my son wants to have a movie night and he wants some queso. So I'm going to show you an easy base for queso blanco. Okay, so today I'm giving you a blank canvas of queso blanco. You guys have requested this. I will link my old video in the description below. I actually have two. But today I'm just going to show you a base for what you could use if you add your other extra ingredients. So to start, I am using four ounces of shredded Monterey Jack cheese, four ounces of softened cream cheese. Here I have like a tablespoon of unsalted butter and I have one cup of table cream. I'm actually using the Mexican table cream that I like to use when I make like tacos and things like that. Um, but if you can't find that, heavy cream works. And this is it, four ingredients. It'll give you a blank canvas with endless possibilities for your queso blanco. You'll want to turn the heat to a medium low heat. You don't want to burn anything. Once your pan has preheated, I, you could use a pot, a pan. I don't even know why I picked this. Maybe the contrast of color. <laughs> so I'm going to add my tablespoon of unsalted butter. And then you're just going to let that melt down. And if it starts to get the, the pot or pan that you're using, uh, if it starts to get too hot, you want to adjust the heat because you don't want to scorch any of the, uh, you know, the cream or the cheese. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my cream cheese. This was softened and if you don't have time to soften it then just get your cream cheese and put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. That works. Okay so I'm going to work the butter and the cream cheese until it is smooth and creamy and that will take a while. It looks kind of crazy now but eventually it will melt down and get creamy. Okay, so this is where I want it. Now I'm going to add in my table cream and give that a mix. So now I'm gonna continue stirring this until, again, everything is creamy and smooth. Okay, so this looks nice and creamy and it's actually really thick. So here's where you wanna get, um, you know, you could get a little creative. If I find that it's too thick even before I add the cheese, now you can add a little whole milk, because if you add more heavy cream, then it'll just kind of stay thick. Um, but you could add a little bit of whole milk, water, or what I like to do is add pickled jalapeno juice. I'll add like a quarter cup of pickled jalapeno juice to give it a little kick. That also works, but my son really likes plain queso blanco, which is why I decided to film this plain queso blanco. Um, but anyways, at this point, everything is combined. It's where I want it. So now I'm going to add my cheese right in. And now all you do is continue to mix, and what you're doing is just melting the cheese down and getting everything nice and creamy. And once everything melts down and gets creamy, that's where you get creative. Add the ingredients that you like. Sometimes I do a can of drained Rotel. Sometimes I do a can of uh, green chilies. Sometimes I like to add some ground beef and other ingredients to make it hearty. You could make, you know, a queso blanco dip by adding ground beef and other ingredients to this. It really is up to you. And another thing, I know you guys like to do this. I've seen this in the comment section. Add some ground chorizo to this. Okay, so take your chip. Honestly, you could serve this. I just wanna show you guys the perfect bite. What I like to do is just make the dip and then my husband and I will add pickled jalapenos to it. So here we go, queso blanco with my pickled jalapeno on top. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.